I'm Richard uh, today we're going to review the works 500 uh, Landroid mower um, so I'll get the video going there get started um, it's going to bring itself in and dock itself here goes see the blades turning underneath them that they just come to a nice gentle stop there's the the cutting deck underneath and you've got three small blades and they just move around freely now the cutting size is 180 millimeters now we're just, just taking off here and going to do a lap around the boundary I've set mine under our fresco here it's not the ideal place you get 10 meters of cord but you, you need a power point to run it to so you either need a power point or get an electrician to put one in wherever it suits yourself so for now mine's just just there it's uh, got the wires running under the rubber mats and it, and it picks it picks it up okay um, your cutting depth is um, it goes from one to five which is 30 mil to 70 mil at 10 mil increments. See the wires are set up here, so it's just going around different obstacles like the air conditioner into the corners of the house. Doesn't get riding close, they still need to whip a snip getting fairly close in there as you can see that one wheel goes one way one wheel goes the other when it turns it uh, which has been a bit of a problem for us here because we're in sand and if it those legs have like plastic plastic wheels and it's flattened spikes I suppose you call it and uh, it has had a tendency to pick up the wire and bring it up out of the grass because it's only sitting on top of the wire initially and then the grass grows around it but even so uh, this grass is fairly established now and it still seems to, to pick it up at times and cuts, cuts the wire you can see it Peg there. The pegs aren't very long, so if you're in heavier ground, I suppose it's okay. But they recommend having your pegs at 800 mil and mine and a half that. And then in some places, like where it's picked it up when it turns, I put extra pegs in as well bikes are there, you can see the wheel digging in going along doing the boundary, I've probably got my wire in a bit close, the wire with the grass once I put the wire in uh, when the grass was growing it did seem to move the wire a bit so I did have to go back and adjust some spots so that where it got pushed too close it is fairly close there now, but um, as you can see there, it's coming. It will be coming up to a corner shortly, and it, that's fairly tight. This is the corner here I'm talking about. what they say about them a few things um, uh, 
Now if it's if it starts to rain. It will send itself home. Uh, it does say it's waterproof. Other people say it's water resistant, but in the book here it says it's waterproof. Here's another angle of it. And this is when it's it's finished its boundary and now it's gonna go off and do its work. With the charging station, you're supposed to have um, no obstacles, 800 millimeters as it goes in and 300 as it goes out um, and normally people have it so they're set straight so it'll go straight in straight out the other side where mine it comes in docks itself and then then resets itself to go out and mow the lawn um, so it's a little bit different to others I have a couple of issues which I've got another video on of fixing a broken wire and the wire was sort of on top of the mat but now it's underneath the mat I'm cutting it quite high here because my lawn is different heights as you can see here we're going into thicker grass here where it's growing better so I start off higher and then drop it down As I feel like it, you know, as I think it's going to cope with it. It has got a mechanism inbuilt in it, so if you are cutting and it's too high and the motor's working too hard, if it gets too hot, it will cut off and stop. And same as if, if you're in really hot conditions, if the battery gets too hot, it will shut off as well. Or, or if it gets too cold, if you're in colder climates. It will shut off. Here's a, a view of the under deck. I've got quite a, a bit of footage of the under deck because I think it's quite interesting. You can see how the when you're looking at the lawn, it's how it looks quite even. But when the mower goes over it, it does vary a, a bit. And you can see that in the, with the when you're under the deck, there it sort of moves up and down a bit. slow motion there, get a better view. It's got some information here. In case of a uh, lightning storm, Protect Landroid by unplugging the charging base, disconnecting the boundary wire, and making sure Landroid is not allowed to charge. In the winter, and especially in case of very cold weather and snow, we recommend you store your Landroid inside. In some countries, we offer a winter servicing or of your Landroid so it's ready for the spring growing season contact your dealer go on more check online for more information um, you've gone through your cutting heights uh, security and pin protection to prevent unauthorized people from being able to use it Landroid is protected by a pin code that you can easily set up you can also set um, the time, the date and time of when you want it to go out. So if you want it every Thursday or every second Thursday, or if you want it alert, it's, it's not very loud. So if you want it to go out in the middle of the night, uh, it's very quiet. information here I'm just going through the the uh, instruction book here how long how landroid works in the following section 
we'd like to help you better understand how Landroid works. Landroid is an autonomous machine capable of operating on its own. It knows when it needs to go to its charging base. When it is running, can stop itself if it senses a problem. Like the other day, I had a broken wire and it stopped. Um, and, and the broken wire was directly under it. And nose, uh, no, nose to stop, draw back and turn around when it bumps into something. Landroid will also automatically stop its blades disc from rotating if it is lifted off the ground. And when you lift it, the blades are on the side, so you can, if you have to lift it from the front, you'll hear a beeping noise and, and the blades just automatically stop. It's best to turn it off though, before you, you know, for safety. Uh, charging itself, your Landroid needs to charge itself it will stop mowing and follow the boundary wire in an anti-clockwise direction back to its charging base. Once charging is complete, Landroid will automatically resume mowing or stay in the charging base according to its mowing schedule. Um, with mine, I've got about 130 square meters here and it, it's, it went out three times to get most of it. It did miss a little bit. Uh, here and there, but not much. Um, it's supposed to learn over time. Uh, border management. Landroid is programmed to mow the grass along the perimeter of your lawn twice a week on Monday and Friday. If you want to charge this changes preset, you can modify it via your smartphone or by using the control panel in your work time, customized work time menu, see detail instructions at the end of the manual. So you, you get a nap that comes with it and you connect it to the internet and you can download uh, updates and things like that. Um, you can also put updates, I believe, with a, with a card as well, with a stick. Uh, Landroid is a hundred. There's rain sensor. Landroid is a hundred percent waterproof and happy to be outside. But mowing wet grass does not give the best finish or result. Landroid is equipped with a rain sensor which detect, detects rain and tells Landroid to stop mowing and go back to its charging station. Uh, rain delay time. After a rain Landroid restarts when the grass is no longer wet. The default rain delay time is 180 minutes. You can change the rain delay time setting by Landroid app. Well that's handy. We've gone through that bit. I won't go through setting up the wire. That can be interesting. That can be another video. Mine's been set up for a while so as I say with my sandy ground I have and I've had some problems and with the charging uh, where the charging station is when I wonder when it just pulled up the wire and cut it and then I've changed the system of uh, putting it underneath the mat and more pegs so we'll see how we go now I might have to even uh, where it goes on the edge of the pavers there's a bit of mortar it runs to hold the pavers in. I might have to knock that out the way to get a, a peg and get the wire down but I've actually pinched it in between the pavers a little bit just to hold it there. Have a look at the 
sell them. What have we got here? See if there's any, anything interesting in it while you're watching it there. Original instructions, products, general, additional, important, read carefully. Oh, this is the safety instructions, so always read those and make sure you maintain it. Uh, maintenance and storage warning when the mower is turned upside down the power key must always be switched off uh, the power key should be switched off during all work on the mower under frame such as cleaning and replacing the blades This is really just uh, them giving all their safety advice. Uh, specifics. Specifications. WR139E. Um, 100-199. Technical data. Rated voltage, 20 volt max. No load speed, 280 min, 2,800 minimum. Cutting area, 500 square meters. If you if you need to have your wire, if your wires are further than 25 meters apart in the in the width, it, you'll need to put an extra wire in so it picks picks it up. Uh, cutting diameter 180 uh, millimeters, cutting height 30 to 70, cutting height position 5, so 1 to 5, battery type lithium ion, charging time 70 minutes, uh, machinery weight 9.1 kilogram, protection degree it's just got three app yes um okay it's not very noisy at all you can hardly hear it you can hear that it cutting the grass if it's a bit thicker if not it's just every now and again you can really just hear the electric motors really uh well i think uh accessories uh, Okay, so you get, it comes with the kit, uh, screws, nine screws, charging base one, charging base fixed nails, eight, which are just plastic banging pegs, I suppose you, they're called them nails. Boundary wire, 130 meters, wire pegs, 180, uh, hex key one, Boundary wire distance gauge two, so you get one. It gives you the distance if it's on a straight run, or it's got two measurements there. One, one if you, if you're going close to your, if you've got it like a paver there and it's running up on there and there's nothing there, um, and if you're up against the wall. I think it's 260 mil you come out it's it's, it's a there's a little gauge it's, it's a um, cardboard gauge and then it's, there's an, another one for when you're going around a corner uh, with the notice before it will go out and then come back sort of walks itself around Um, connectors too. That's to connect your your wires if you need to. You only get two. They're about five bucks each. 
Uh, so if you get it, wouldn't would certainly wouldn't hurt. I think I saw some on eBay or somewhere. You get five five for twenty dollars or something plus delivery. Um, handy to have because if you're in a situation like me where it, it pulls that wire up a bit and then if it pulls it up the first time, goes around the second time, then cuts it all the next time. The wire's green, so it's hard hard to see with green grass as well. Um, unless your grass is very short and it's just laying on the top. Uh, battery pack, one, charging, charger one. Uh, cleaning, <coughs> warning, do not use a hose, high pressure washer or otherwise pour running water on your Landroid. High pressure water can go inside the ceilings and damage electrical and mechanical components. Cleaning the upper body, clean with a spray bottle filled with water. Don't use solvents or polishes. Use a brush or a clean cloth to remove built up dirt. Cleaning the bottom. Uh, flip Landroid upside down. Uh, remove debris and grass clippings using a brush to remove. Be careful not to touch the blades with your hands. Wear gloves protection. Clean the blades. This um, chassis and front wheel thoroughly with a soft brush moist rag. Uh, rotate the blade disc to ensure the rotates freely. Mine were a bit um, tight I thought so I might just take them off and uh, clean the bit of rubbish that's in there I think. I mean they weren't, they were still working you see when the blades operating it's okay but I suppose it doesn't hurt to keep them free free. Uh, remove any obstacles, uh, remove any lodged debris so that uh, doesn't cause crack in the blade uh, in the blade disc. No, it's not the blade, the blade disc. Uh, even the tiniest crack uh, affects mowing performance. Check the blade spin freely around the fixing screw. Remove any obstacles. Um, same thing with removing cleaning the charging connectors uh, clean the contact pins located on the charging base and the charging strips located on the Landroid using a cloth periodically remove any build up of grass uh, clippings, debris, contacts charging to the successful charging um, so I, I think it's uh, well worth it, I would. I did buy it, I'm very happy with it. Um, there's a few little problems, but I suppose that comes with everything. So I I definitely recommend it myself. Um, I love it. And uh, please like, if you like the video, like, subscribe and ring the notification bell. Leave your comments down below. Um, really know I'd like to know what you think and if you've got one and you've had any other little teething problems or issues or something going on or you just love it let us know um, I think they're fantastic so thank you bye for now